What's going on guys, it's Adonis and you're watching Absolutely Anime. So Dragon Ball Super starts out, it's definitely the introduction or reintroduction of Vegeta and his family, um, which is really neat because you see some tie-ins to Dragon Ball Z. So they go to this amusement park and does a flashback to Dragon Ball Z when <clears throat> Vegeta's training trunks and he's like, if you land a punch on my face, I'll take you to the theme park or the amusement park. Um, he does, and in this episode, he takes him to the amusement park. And it's funny because Vegeta has, you know, he's accepted that he's second best to Goku. And you can tell it's super frustrating to him because he's at this amusement park, but he really wants to be training right now. So the entire time he's there, he's like pissed off, arms crossed, doing everything. Whether on the train, they're, everything that he's doing, he has the same face, the same body language, everything. It's, it's pretty funny. Um, and until he gets food, he, his mood doesn't change. He gets food, he gets super excited. All this food he's eating, he's eating gigantic squid, starts eating it and just inks all over him. And he's about to get pissed. Like you could tell like every, everything, all the tensions in his building and they like drag him out. That was pretty funny. Um, now where the story kind of changes is right, right before um, they introduce Beerus, you know, Vegeta's in this theme park He's at this like concert-like situation. He's getting bumped into, the, the entertainer actually calls Vegeta on stage like, hey, party pooper, and he just has enough. Like this whole time he's thinking like, man, I need to be training. What's Kakarot doing? So he ends up flying off. And it's funny because Bulba and Trunks were, you know, they, were, they didn't even think he's gonna last that long, which is pretty funny. Um, but it was cool that they didn't like make it like a drama situation, like daddy, yeah. like how kind of Gohan would have done, like no daddy. So it was pretty cool that um, they didn't do that, which I liked. Um, and they, just, they really played to the character of Vegeta, like okay, that makes sense. That's what Vegeta does. He's upset all the time. So that was cool. Um, now when they uh, you know transition into Beerus, it was dope because you actually got to see him fight, um, which we really haven't seen him much in action, so it was really cool to see. So, you know, Whis is on this mission to get Beerus some food, and he goes to this planet to get this dinosaur meat. There's inhabitants on this planet trying to capture this dinosaur, and one of their warrior class um, fighters comes up, knocks the dinosaur out, and you know, he's like champion on the dinosaur, like, yeah. And Whis is like, hey, like, sorry, but I gotta take this dinosaur, and he's like, not having it. And he's like, I only have two minutes. I got two minutes to take this back to Beerus. Like, I don't have time. And Beerus shows up and was like, what's going on, man? Like, it's, it's been too long. He's like, dude, I got like a minute and a half left. What are you talking about? So the funny part about that is, is Beerus decides to just take it into his own hands. And the warrior guy transforms. So he has this transformation that he does. And he starts to fight Beerus. Now, the cool thing I like about this is people don't know who Beerus is. There's people that do, and there's people that don't. So it was, it was funny to see this guy, you know, go up against the God of Destruction, whether he knew it or not, right? We knew, obviously, but they don't. They just, he didn't know. So the guy's fighting him. Beerus does this whole Goku Trunks thing with his finger. Dude's punching, he's just blocking with his finger. He shoots this fireball energy blast at him. And then Beerus does like this reversal thing. He like takes it and then throws it back at him and it like destroys him almost. And then Beerus gets pissed off. He's like, you know, I don't want this anymore. And he drops this little tiny energy blast. And it's just a little ball that goes into the planet and it just explodes. And it's cool because you really get to see who the God of Destruction is, like why he has this name. He can literally destroy worlds effortlessly. So it's really cool to see. They didn't really show that that much in Battle of God. So it's cool that they're actually diving deeper into Beerus. Now, with that said, Beerus also has this, this evilness to him. Uh, in the anime that he didn't have in Battle of Gods. Battle of Gods, he had this playfulness, playfulness to him. Here though, he has like, these smirks that you can tell like he's not, he's not like the Beerus from the, the movie. He's very like, he's on edge. He has his comedic value, but he definitely, when he destroys things, the smirk that he has, he definitely has this evil smirk. Um, so we'll see what that, what that you know transitions to when it gets to the point where he starts meeting Goku. Um, when he did blow up this planet though, he did see this premonition pop back into his head. He's kind of, you know, remembering what this premonition was and he's like, oh, it's Super Saiyan God. That's what, that's who I need to find, Super Saiyan God. So after that, it transitions back into Vegeta training in the gravity chamber that he was training in 
at the beginning of Battle of Gods, and it shows Goku on King Kai's planet training where he was at the beginning of Battle of Gods. So it's like they're setting it up for that introduction. So are we gonna see Battle of Gods integrated into the anime, or are we gonna see you know it skip over Battle of Gods? Who knows? But um, so far, I'm really liking the development of these characters, just because we didn't really get a lot of things from Whis and Beerus. So it's cool to see that. Now, on the flip side of things, there's things that I didn't really care for, and it's not a lot. I really had to be nitpicky, but um, even though the amusement park situation was cool for Vegeta, I know for myself, I wanted to skip it. I was like, I just want to get into the action. I want to get back into the story of Beerus, Goku, you know, Vegeta, Whis, you know, where they're going to be going, how they get to where they were in Battle of Gods. The side stories are cool. I get it that they're trying to reintroduce them, what they've been doing, but it's just a, there's a tad bit of boredom for me. So I really want that to move along. Um, the other thing that I didn't really care for was that we still hasn't, you still haven't seen a lot of Weiss yet. Um, even though he's still kind of being, you know, the sidekick almost, even though he's his trainer, um, he's definitely still playing a very small role. So I'm really, I'm really, um, excited to see what they do with Whis, how he actually, you know, you know, trains Beerus, or if that's something he still does. Um, so we'll see. I know Resurrection F comes out on the 4th of August, so I'm really excited about that. But who knows, we'll, you know, maybe they, that's what they want it to be for. Maybe they want, hey, you know, an introduction to Whis is gonna be Resurrection F. So we don't know yet. Hopefully, you know, we get more as the series goes on. It's definitely getting better. Um, it's not getting worse, which is good. Um, but I would just like the story to move a little faster. I feel like it's just like, it's taking its time. I know it's the second episode. Calm down, dude. It's only the second episode. But I'm just like, man, it's been how many years before we've actually had a series? Like, I want this to be a little bit on a faster uh, faster pace. So um, what did you guys think, though? Did you guys like the episode? Do you think it was overwhelming, underwhelming, whelming? Um, I think I was a little bit on the whelming side, um, just because it's still like setting up the story. But what did you guys think? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching the review. If you guys like these videos, let me know in the comment section. If you like this particular video though, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video and you thought it was boring, that's okay, give it a thumbs up anyways. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't guys. Till next time, see you later.